Asia, we are not only covering the fashion week in the middle of Sarah Desert. Today, we are invited to Sartex Manufacture, and we will discover how they produce gin collection for the most famous world brands. Uh, we are at Sartex Group, which is uh, created in 1983. My name is uh, Muni Zagad. I'm the commercial director of the group Sartex with the entity of Denim House, Linatex and Zeynep. Uh, we are here in our facility, Linatex. Uh, it's uh, one of the leaders of the company, textile company in Tunisia, specialized uh, in sportswear and jeanswear garments. Uh, working with many international brands, uh, serving different markets uh, in Europe, US and Asian market. We have many entities in different countries, okay, and we decided to invest in Tozer area uh, since four years now. Okay. And today we have around uh, four lines, 200 people, and we honestly think to expand more and maybe double in the next few years. The brands we have been working with since many years, 10, 15 years. What we have seen today is our collection that we have developed from uh, our uh, research and development center. And these are proposals we give to our client, whether washes, stylus, fabric, uh, finishes of embroidery and print. Uh, the brands we've been working with them since years like Hugo Boss, uh, Guess, Polo Ralph Lauren, and many others. All the jeans I like to wear, guys, so we are in the right place with the right man. <laughs> Today we try to develop digitally our collection, so it's like pre-proto. It's uh, the conception of the style, the choice of the fabric. We uh, create it digitally and we work with the designers of the brands to modify, to adjust before to go to the physical proto. Hi, my name is Sham Zerbi. I'm a fashion designer in R&D Group and we work for Styletex. It's a denim industry. We, we take, we take uh, mood boards from our clients, mostly. We develop for the clients. And as we have some creative part, we do some, we have a little bit of capsule that we put every, every like little bit of energy of artistic part in it. So as what you see today, what you saw today was a part of our collection. Mostly this is, uh, it's a denim and it's a waving with denim, recycled denim. So in here we see only like this uh, waving with a denim in it, like this is a denim, this is a denim, a grey denim, a black denim, and we made it as a very artisanal way. See, all this, all this process is a sustainable process, so it's like a recycling, a recycling denim and redo it in a new way. It's a recycled shirt. This, all this fabric in here is a recycled fabric. In those two pieces we have a laser, that now we use it as uh, we use it for brossage and everything, and we have in here uh, a brush, a brush painting on the pants. It's like we drop in the water and then we drop a lot of colors, and then we have this really original piece. Now, first of all, it was like this at the beginning, and then when we add the colors, it's something like this. This is like a tie and dye technique, but it's more, it's more elaborated. This is made like 100% of denim. Uh, it's waving. We ma we take a recycled denim and we made it into waving, into artisanal waving. And then we have all this piece. They are like very, very, very complicated, if we say so. And so we mo we made some tie and dye in here. If you see it at first, and then we made uh, the foil, the foil technique in here. So it's mostly a lot of techniques, two dyes two dyes, one tie and dye and a foil. So it's a lot of techniques in here. Uh, and then we made it into a fabric, a big fabric, and then into pieces, into those pieces.
think, uh, yeah, I'm Jawer. I'm the head of, of R&D department and uh, I'm in charge of the development of the collections, the physical one and the digital one too. I was really trying to make like a recap of the industry. What you see here, for example, what you are seeing on the wall here is the raw materials denim. In, uh, we are trying also to boost uh, all the new technology currently that we have already invested in, uh, in the company, especially now we are, we are having the last generation of embroidery machine, printing machine, transfer, lamination. And the idea behind is really to play with all those techniques to try to go a little bit far away from the classic denim. So sustainability is really a major axe of development for us. We are really taking care of a lot during the whole process of development. It's not a talk, but it's a value that need to talk about our sustainability approach on that. Which is the piece we have especially to pay attention to? Can you show me it here? Which one will you choose? Uh, my favorite one is, is that jacket. For me, you asked me to select one, so in my opinion, this is my favorite because I'm uh, I'm trying to have really something vintage, authentic, because this is kind of authentic denim look, but on a sustainable way, on an eco wash. So I think for me, it's my favorite. Yeah, this is for a denim manufacturer. This is the image of the company, and this is a lot of know-how behind going through all the steps here from really very nice base fabric, rich indigo going to all the details, a nice hand scraping, very faded out, so it's really looking at natural pieces and for that I was selecting that.